guys, so 7 a.m. Up nice and early. Um, breakfast is here. I'll show you what I ordered. I actually ordered this yesterday, so it's actually things that I actually want this time. Nice cup of tea. Also, three of my nails popped off, so yeah, because you can probably see like these like two are pink. I'm meant to look like these ones. But it popped off, so. A cup of tea, and it's come with some sugar, so I can actually put it in this time. Look at this. What is that? So that's maybe like rice porridge. It's rice porridge. And this should be bean. So I'm gonna have some of the juices of the beans in. Bread, and I ordered some jam, and there should be some marmalade. There it is. Orange juice, milk, and a strawberry yogurt. So, yeah, I'm excited. Every little helps, guys, every little helps. And also, I had a night free of IVs last night, so it was so nice to actually try and get some sleep, so. So I'm about to leave to go down to my appointment. I was gonna vlog on my camera, but I'm just gonna vlog on my phone for today and then we'll vlog on my camera tomorrow. Um, my eyelids look so veiny, what the heck? My skin's pretty bad, but I wanted to show you guys today's outfit, which is the outfit I actually wore on Wednesday when I was going to college. But then I only wore it for like an hour, if that, and then I was in the hospital and I had to get changed. So let me flip the camera. So we have this raspberry striped black top with a denim skirt, which you kind of can't see, there you go. And uh, what do you call these? White converse and a belt, which doesn't really do much because the hole I need to put it in is here, but I just think it looks better when it sits more central, otherwise it looks a bit silly. But it holds up decently. I mean, the skirt holds up itself, so it's not that bad. Anyway, I'm about to leave to go. Oh, and I'm disconnected from the drips and my feed, which is over there. So I don't have to take the IV pole with me. Um, because I've got to take my file with me, um, which is on the door. My nurse told me to take it, just in case they want to look at it. So I'm not going to carry that down. I was like, I'm not wheeling that and carrying that. So, yeah. Ooh, my little bed, blanket and whatnot. All my stuff everywhere. Suitcase in the corner, just because I've got literally so much stuff. And what Tom actually did was he brought the blender and the feed, so we can just make the feed here, and he doesn't have to go home and make it all the time. So, yeah. So I will update you guys after my immunology appointment. Um, I'm hoping we can figure out what's causing my skin to react to the sun so badly. I'll try and pop up a picture of what happens when my skin's exposed to the sun. It's kind of like a bad heat rash mixed with sunburn. And I'm talking like maybe two minutes in the sun and this happens, so. Hopefully they think, my doc, my other doctor thinks it's something to do with like, um, like an immune, uh, immune problem or something. I can't remember, I can't think of the name. It's, can't think properly, but um, yeah. Some sort of like immune disorder thing <sighs> that's causing it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I'll update you guys after my appointment. So, I haven't really got any news on what my bloods are like, but I'm pretty sure they're okay, because otherwise I'm sure someone would have prescribed some more potassium. So, finally, three days it took us to get them right, but I think we're finally getting there blood-wise. My heart is more stable, so we got... We, I was taking off the telemetry, whatever, the heart monitor that I was on. Um, we stopped the vital last night, I don't know if I mentioned that, and we're just back on my normal feed now. I'm letting a student nurse do a exam on me today as part of her, like, practical thing that she's got to do to pass. Um, Tom was here a little, for a little while earlier, but he's gone back, he's had a meeting this afternoon, which I think what else. My nurse gave me a huge thing of of um sick bags. I was like, I was like, uh, I've run out of sick bags. Can you get me some? Of them? And she said, Oh, you mean drainage? I was like, No, I mean like vomit bags. She goes, Okay. She comes up with this huge stack. She's literally the best. She's so funny. I love it when you have a good nurse. It literally makes your time here so much more. I won't say enjoyable, but bearable, shall we say? Um, I'm trying to organize daily for tomorrow to go watch the Wildcats play. Fingers crossed, I'm allowed. 
and I'm also trying to organise daily for Monday and Wednesday next week so I can go to college and then come back. However, the plan for gastro team is to come down today. Someone's meant to come down within the next... Well, it's three o'clock now. They're meant to come down before four, basically, to review me and decide what the plan is because the general medicine team said literally the only option left is TPN. Like, they, like they can't just leave you. And they said unless there's some other option that they can think of for me to gain weight, um, then, yeah. So... <laughs> And it's worrying because I'm getting 2,000, between 2,100 to 2,400 calories a day and I'm still losing weight on that amount. So it's kind of like, where do we go? What do we do? You know, like if they don't want to do TPN, they need to do something is basically what they're saying. So we, yeah, we just need the gastros to come down to decide what they're going to do nutrition wise. Um, but yeah, things are kind of falling into place and I might be moving back to the general medicine ward because that's where my team is um I moved to the neurology ward because they needed the beds there but now there's another bed come available and I can have it if I choose to have it but I just want to see what happens with the gastro before I decide to go back on that ward or not and I'm currently watching the good place it's so funny I love it I'm almost finished season one um so yeah and then I think after my, the nurse has done the examination, after I've seen gastro, I might do some college work. Um, yeah, I can't remember. I didn't show you guys what I got for lunch, but it was chicken again, and it wasn't that great. I hope I ordered something different for dinner because I don't really feel like having chicken again. It's not nice. But that said, I did make a chicken sandwich, added a load of salt and gravy, and it wasn't too bad. Again, I'm, I know I'm chewing and spitting, so I shouldn't complain so much, but... I want it to be a nice flavour if I'm going to be, you know, tasting it, so. I'm so upset that I can't watch Once Upon a Time because uh, the VPN won't work at the hospital. Like, the hospital Wi-Fi is terrible. It barely knows loads, loads Netflix, so it's just, yeah, yeah. And hopefully I'll get around to doing some more editing as well, so. That is the update. Oh, immunology update. Nothing's really changed. We're just going to stick with what we're doing with the medications we're on. And just see how things go and he's hoping that my sensitivity to the sun will sort itself out <laughs> want it in a martini glass love with an olive in the top <laughs> try and like flip it and catch no, it because if this goes everywhere freaking stick to the walls generally it would. it's like cement Currently filling out my uh, fluid balance chart, guys. Oh, and by the way, we've moved wards. Again, we're on the gastro ward this time, though. Um, so, yes. Yeah. So and I'm excited for tomorrow because hopefully we're gonna get day leave, but we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow morning to, for the doctors to come around and uh, approve. But uh, the nurses reckon it should be fun. Tom's just making my feed. Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'll do an update before bed, so.